In this short ukulele tutorial, I'm going to teach you the rumba flamenco strum. There are eight strokes to this. It's a little challenging, but not impossible. So please stick around, get your ukulele. Every tuned ukulele will work well with this strum. Let's jump in. This is what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. literally hundreds of different ways to play this on guitar and ukulele. Most accessible way is this eight stroke pattern. Let's jump into it right now. Now for all of these strokes, you're gonna want to move with a relaxed wrist and make sure that just the tip of the index finger is stroking the top of the strings. There's gonna be a lot of different strokes. Right, so we're gonna to need to keep our technique light. Don't play too hard. Join in with me, mute your strings. The first four strokes go like this. Down with the index, up with the index, down with the index, and now a new motion up with the thumb and see how my hand ends open. Okay, so up with the thumb and the hand ends with the fingers extended. Okay, they're not tight, okay, it's not tense, but they do end in this open way, just like if I was reaching out to shake somebody's hand. Let's practice this together. Three, four, down, up, down, up. Ready, again. Down, up, down, up. Lightly touching, down, up, down, up. Last time. Very good. The next four strokes we'll learn, and then we're gonna put some more accents and a cool chord progression to it. The next four strokes, touch with the palm. Okay, so you're just muting the strings. You're gonna to touch. It's not really a hard slap. It's just a touch, a little bit of percussion in there. And when you touch, look at your index finger. See how it's all ready to go? And then you come up for stroke six. The last two strokes, number seven, pretend there's a rubber band holding together your ring and your middle finger and just whip the strings, okay, like that. Just whip them. It's like you pretend you dip your finger in some water and you're just shaking the water off. The motion is from the wrist. Okay, the last stroke, number eight, is up with the index. Now later, we're gonna, we're gonna find out that you can actually leave that last stroke out to create some variations, but for now, let's leave it in. Let's practice these first eight strokes. Thanks for hanging. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Takes a little getting used to. There's some new coordination here. Make sure your shoulder's back, your wrist is loose, you're touching the ukulele lightly. Now we're gonna learn some accent patterns to make it to really groove. Before we get into that and the chord progression, if you're digging this so far, please give it a thumbs up. Appreciate it if you share this video with your friends and make sure you subscribe to the channel, Ukulele Zen. I have a ton of video content for you to help your music grow and to make your practice into a peaceful oasis that you can come to anytime. And now it's time for the accents. We're gonna strum a little harder on the accents, softer on everything else. The accents fall on one, two, three on four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so on one, on four, and then on seven. Together with me, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What it starts to sound like as you pick up the tempo, three strong accents across the pattern. 
as you play this, you can create a pattern where at the end you leave out the last stroke and then add it every other time. Right, we're just keeping it slow right here, but can you hear how it starts to take on da, 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 three strong strokes. There's also a wonderful dance that the hand does. Quite naturally, as you get loose, see how my hand moves a little back and forth. All right, my thumb just kind of catches a little bit of the uh, neck. So just this alone is a huge victory. Just hang with this pattern for a little while, and then when you're ready, you can add these chords.